When the body becomes its own enemy, our immune system stops foreign invaders from harming the body and sometimes it mistakes the body as the enemy and causes harm instead. Our immune system is meant to protect our body from foreign invaders such as viruses and bacteria. But when someone suffers from an autoimmune disorder, his immune system mistakes the body as the enemy and starts attacking it. Autoimmune disorders can affect any part of the body, including the joints, skin and internal organs such as the kidneys or the brain. There are over 80 types of autoimmune disorders which include rheumatoid arthritis, spondyloarthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus or lupus and systemic sclerosis. Rheumatoid arthritis, spondyloarthritis and lupus are among the most common autoimmune disorders in Singapore. The conditions are thought to be caused by a combination of genes and environmental factors such as infections and viral attacks. Drugs or chemicals can also trigger such diseases in some people. The effects of autoimmune diseases vary. For some patients, the disease causes their autoimmune system to attack their kidneys or brain, while in other people, it could be their blood or lungs that are affected. The symptoms vary too depending on the type of autoimmune disorder. A disease may manifest itself in one patient as weight loss or fever, while another patient may suffer a rash or an inflammation of the skin. As these symptoms may be due to other diseases, being able to recognize these patterns that typically show up in autoimmune disorders is key to correct diagnosis. It is also important to examine the patient and his medical history closely. It's very much like detective work supported by investigation. Autoimmune disorders can sometimes be life-threatening. For example, lupus, an autoimmune disease characterized by acute inflammation of various tissues, can become dangerous when it affects the kidneys or cause bleeding in the lungs. Autoimmune disorders are treated with medications to suppress a patient's overactive immune system. These medications must be used with care as they can weaken the immune system and so increase the risk of infections. There is room for optimism. The 10-year survival rate for lupus patients today, for example, exceeds 90%. However, new and better treatments are urgently needed. The sooner an autoimmune disorder is detected and brought to the attention of doctors, the earlier it can be treated and the better we can prevent or reverse some of the organ damage. Well, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis back in 2006-2007 and uh, let me just say from personal experience that if you actually have your regular checkups, you take your medication and have a proper follow-up with your doctor, you know what, you can actually live a very normal life like anyone on the street. So, there you go. Much research has been performed in autoimmune disorders in the last 5 to 10 years, which has led to more effective treatments becoming available. And we hope that even more effective treatments will soon become available to help our patients. And in a step towards serving more patients and improving the care of patients with autoimmune disorders, SGH has set up an autoimmunity and rheumatology centre. This centre synergizes service, education and research and will have specialist clinics dedicated to the treatment of specific autoimmune disorders such as scleroderma, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis and spondyloarthritis. Multidisciplinary services such as physiotherapy and occupational therapy are available to patients with autoimmune disorders. And senior nurses trained in rheumatology will be on hand to educate and counsel our patients. Patients with autoimmune disorders do require long-term care and follow-up. It is very important for patients with autoimmune disorders to maintain a positive attitude because effective treatments are available and it has been clearly shown from research that a positive attitude has a good impact on the outcome of their treatment. Regular checkups with their rheumatologist are also essential to maintain good control of their disorder. Get in touch with other patients who can help you to understand more about your illness and how to cope with it. Build a supportive network of family and friends who can provide assistance. Importantly, there is no need to be frightened as effective treatments are available for autoimmune disorders and most if not all patients can lead normal and productive lives. 
We hope this video has helped you understand more about autoimmune disorders and that patients can actually live on with a more positive mindset. Well, thank you for watching and goodbye.